We will see in, the, today, in today's uh, discussions that we shall soon be reaching an important milestone with half of the world's population online. It's an impressive achievement that uh, deserves great rec recognition since we know all the advantages of internet access, that what they can provide to better people's life. But we also know that these benefits are not shared equally, that four out of five people in developed countries have internet access, compared with just two out of five in least developed countries. At UNESCO, we have two transversal priorities, Africa and gender equality. And I think this shows us where uh, our efforts should uh, focus also on, uh, on our subject of the day. Women remain less likely to have internet access than men, and this gap is widening, exacerbating existing inequalities. Today, more than 2.1 billion people are considered to be low-skilled and low-literate, and they're at risk of being uh, excluded of our digital future. The Commission, I've seen and, and learned, has done excellent work in the recent years to better understand inequalities to, in digital opportunities, particularly in relation to digital skills for work and the digital gender divide. At UNESCO, we put great emphasis on digital skills and knowledge, particularly for those being otherwise left behind. We've established the Global Alliance to Monitor Learning to develop a framework to assess and monitor progress in digital skills. The Africa Code Week Initiative, Code Week Initiative has reached 1.3 million youth in Africa, nearly half of uh, whom were women. Together with partners such as Microsoft and Ericsson, we are working to support countries, to support individuals with low literacy to better navigate digital spaces. The Equals Skills Coalition, which is led by UNESCO and Germany, is working to strengthen digital skills for women and girls across the world. We must aim not only for digital literacy, but also media and information literacy to enable critical thinking about information and instill values that contribute to online debate in the spirit of freedom of expression. And we've all seen in, the re in recent years many examples of uh, online misinformation, hate speech, and incitement to violence, tearing at the heart of unity and tolerance between people. We are therefore also working at the forefront of this ever more complex struggle, conducting research and publishing guidelines on how to counter online hate speech and prevent online radicalization of young people. Because in technology we have found incredible opportunity to progress, but it's also critical that we respond to the new challenges it can bring about, like the, the preservation of cultural diversity in the online world, or the opportunities of uh, artificial intelligence. Artifi artificial intelligence is revolutionizing our world, from education to culture, health or defense. But there are, all those opportunities have to be developed in respect of principle of humanism and sustainable development. We need to have a global conversation on those ethical principles that we want to guide us in this new world. And UNESCO as a universal forum where each one has a voice uh, wants to be part in this conversation. I would like to take the opportunity of this session to invite you all to participate uh, in an international conference on artificial intelligence focusing on the ethical issues as well that we are organizing uh, in Paris at the beginning of next year, in January, precisely the, the 17th of January. We will be bringing together experts, businesses, and civil society to raise awareness among member states and international community on these critical issues for the future humanity. Excellencies, commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, this commission was created eight years ago as a global intellectual alliance to harness the benefits of information and communication technology for human development. We need now to reach those currently excluded and work on uh, relevant skills, content, and ethical principles so that technology is used for the better and the common good. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.